What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene. So for today's video I did a monochromatic makeup tutorial and I did like all brown colours. So please excuse my lips, it's not my finest work. Um yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Um, yeah, and if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with carving out my brows and priming my lids. And today I decided to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. And I'm just applying that underneath my brows and all over my lids and then I further blend that out with my beauty blender. So going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm taking the shade, I believe it's called Pukey on a Morphe M433 and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. So I'm really just blowing this color out in my crease and making sure it's all nice and blended. And I wanted this color to be quite dark so I could still see through it because we are using quite dark shades. And then I'm going to take a more medium warm toned brown. I don't remember all the shade names cause I did lose like the slip. And at first I just wanted to focus this on the outer V as you can see, but then I decided that I wanted to create a halo Y. So I'm just putting this in the outer V and really focusing the color there and also in my inner part of the lid and then I'm connecting it through the crease. Now I'm just starting the halo eye and I'm using the same Tarte Shape Tape concealer to do so and I'm not the best at halo eyes like it it always ends up like way too big um, but that's okay because we're gonna go in with darker colors anyway and blend in the sides so it's okay if it's not perfect because mine definitely isn't but anyways, and then over top I'm going to use my finger and apply a like brown shimmery shade to where we placed the concealer and I actually didn't set it so that it would it would be a little bit more pigmented and then I finish the other eye off camera and I take the exact same shade but on a synthetic brush and I spray it so the color is more metallic and then here I'm just blending out the edges. Now I'm just taking a deeper brown shade. This one's almost close to black and I'm using a Morphe M506 which is just a smaller tapered blending brush and I'm really focusing this on the outer corners of my eye and the inner corners of my eye and just adding a little bit of depth to my halo eye and also blending the brown shades that we previously placed down together so everything's nice and seamless and there's a little bit of definition there. So you just saw me clean up the edges with a tissue so it's nice and sharp and now I'm going in with the Pretty Vulgar Feathers Mascara and applying mascara and then I actually finished my base and my lashes off camera um, just because you guys have already seen that but I'm taking the pukey shade that we used before and really blowing that in the lower lash line and then I'm going to take a more medium toned brown, the warm one that we used earlier and focus this really tight with a pencil brush underneath the, the lower lash line. Now I'm just bronzing up the skin and I'm using my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer, it's my favourite bronzer ever and I'm just using my regular Morphe brush to do so and I'm just bronzing up my cheekbones, my forehead and my jawline and today I want it to be extra extra bronzed because it is a brown monochromatic look so I focused more on bronzing than blush or highlight for example. For blush, I'm going in with Max Peachy Keen and applying that to my cheekbones with the Morphe E4. And then for highlight, I go in with the ABH Glow Kit and I actually take the shade Bronze and I go over my bronzed areas and where I applied my blush just to give me a more shimmery goddess look. And then for 
my inner corner highlight I also used that exact same shade because I felt like it just tied the eyes together and went really well and then for my actual highlight I go in with the shade summer and apply that on the high points of my face Now to set my face and to melt all the powders together, I'm going in with the ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray and I'm just spraying that all over my face and letting that dry down. Now for lips, I'm starting off with Rimmel's Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Addiction. I didn't have a brown lip liner so I just decided to use the darkest nude that I have. This one's more of like a dark, deep, mauve nude. Um, you can't see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter what color you use. And then I go in with the Milani Liquid Lipstick. And this one's in the shade 19 Corvette. And it's just a deep brown matte shade, as you can see. And then lastly, I'm taking the Balm's Read My Lips a Lip Gloss in the shade Snap and just applying that to the center of the lips with my finger just to give it a more glossy look because I felt like it was looking too matte. And that's the finished look. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and love the look that I created as well as I do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!